What's going on? Welcome back to another Zendikar Rising draft. Hopefully, the salt will not be too plentiful this time. This format has been somewhat rage-inducing for me, but I'm going to take this Zagreus. Because he seems pretty good. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see anything super compelling in this pack, and I think Zagreus is a solid dude. See, and then immediately I want to just be like, Spoils of Adventure is fantastic. Because it is. And there's literally no black or red cards in this pack that I care about. So I kind of want to take spoils. And uh that's where I'm at right now. I think spoils is really good. Glacial Grasp is fine. Stonework Pack Beast is an option. It does make this guy cost five. I don't want to second pick that, though. Rage Inducing is an understatement. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, a Coom Warrior seems pretty great here. Um, yeah, no good removal. In the face of no good removal, I'm just going to take the Akum Warrior because I think he's good. like sure-footed infiltrator but i don't foresee us again like nothing great here royal eruption actually seems fantastic so i spoke too soon royal eruption is a pretty easy pick there and now we can see that the red is at least coming Yeah, Royal Eruption is definitely one of the higher pick commons for sure. And by higher pick, I mean, yeah, it's very likely the best. Um, Zoff Consumption is not... It's not one of the better ones, but it's actually still just fine. And it's a free spell. And there's plenty of cards that can pick it up later and just nug them for four. I think it's probably better than Hagar Constrictor or Gouldra's Mucklord. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, Spitfire Legac. Deal some excess damage. Oh, this is interesting. It's a human rogue. I actually thought the card was the, the like, the big bug in the front. Turns out it's, like, the fucking dude riding it. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, well. I mean, also a 2-1 flyer that mills two cards. I think I'm just going to take the Spitfire Legac. Ghastly Gloom Hunter is fine. I like Hellion, especially with a Coom Warrior and Zoff Consumption. I think we're going to take the Hellion here. Yeah, definite Mantis Rider vibes. You're like, wait, you're not the actual... You're not the Mantis itself? That does nothing here. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort, not great. Might just take Highborn Vampire. Or, actually, Ambusher's fine. Get some early guys. Okay, so... Three drop or Blood Price? I like Blood Price. I like being able to draw cards in this, uh... Yeah, we'll just take this guy. This guy having a creature type is also extremely relevant for our, for our Zagreus. Sure. Skitter Sneak is... It's a 3-4 four, for 4 that can potentially be a 4-4. Four, four with Menace. None of these cards are exciting. Like, these last picks are not exciting, but... That's okay. I'm a Skitter Sneak. It's my job. It's my occupation, you see the hell is that what's well, a skitter sneak <laughs> if you have to ask my friend <laughs> oh and they're just gonna give me this rare throne of Mickey. oh wow null priest is a sick open 
Shatter Skull Minotaur is pretty sweet too, but we're definitely taking Null Priest. Wow, that's great. <sighs> three, three, four, four. Whenever you cast an instant sorcerer, wizard deals one damage to any target. I'm probably just gonna take Vanquish here. We are not a we are not a uh, a cleric deck. We don't have enough blue to play this guy. Yeah, this is fine, but. I don't think Sizzling Barrage is actually that good at all. I'm going to take Vanquish here. And then we're going to keep our fingers crossed for more good uh, black and red cards. I'm going to just take Skyclave Sentinel. Rock Slide Sorcerer is fine, but like, we just don't have the, the cards for it. Uh, I don't... How, how's that... What's the combo? Whenever you cast the instant sorcerer wizard, it deals one every same target. Oh, this deals the damage. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Yeah, all right. I'll take the rock slider then. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Oh, blood chiefs. Also, deadly lines. I think deadly lines is actually better. Nah. Actually, this is four mana to kill anything. This is five mana, maybe. On the. I. Mean, the only problem with Rock Slide Sorcerer is having the triggers for it. That's literally the only issue. Yeah, it's definitely either Deadly Alliance or Blood Chiefs Thirst. I think I'm leaning towards Blood Chiefs Thirst. This is an instant. This is a sorcery. Alliance is way better. Yeah, I get, yeah instant being... Okay, well, we took Thirst. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Serena. Sounds good. Um, yeah, 2-2 two, two Death Touchers seems fine. This is also another Rogue. Don't care about... Eh, Fissure Wizard actually might be fine because it's a Wizard, so it also... Yeah, let's take the Wizard. Actually, let's take the Blood Priest. Even if we're not... Oh, actually, I kind of like Scion. Um, yeah, it's definitely better than these three. It's at worst as a 3-3 flyer for five, and we do have some ways to gain life, so. I didn't have one mana for that. Yeah, that's not super exciting. Um, it takes guys for sure. Take a Drana Silencer. I don't see us main decking it, but it's... Nice to have. Cleansing Wildfire, sure. How many Molten Blasts can we have on the sideboard? Up to two right now. Yep, all right. I don't hate a Blight Priest. Like, having these, these um, just, like, secondary party creatures is nice when you want to have Zagros. Yeah, the 7-5 is fine. It's not super exciting, but it is a, a, just a huge dude they have to deal with. Another Blood Chief's Thirst. Not bad. Definitely better than these. Probably better than Acquisitions Expert. Yeah, I think it's definitely better than Acquisitions Expert. I'm just going to take the Thirst here. I do like having a Blood Beckoning. I think two for ones in this format are very, very good. Yeah, Blood Beckoning is a pretty easy pick here. We'd have a lot of Mara Wizards if, uh, if we were taking them. Shadows Verdict, Exile Creatures with three or less. Meh. Black Black Bloom Rogue is pretty sweet. I think it's just Black Bloom Rogue. Two three menace that can become a five three menace is pretty good. Minotaur is also pretty sweet, but like I'd rather just have the dual faced.
Uh, another, actually, another blood priest seems great here. I don't actually hate Skycleave Shadow Cat. Yeah, sure. Cinderclasm, Vampire, Relic Amulet. I'll just take the Clasm for the sideboard. Another Blood Beckoning. That's interesting. Mm, Expedition Champion could be decent when we have two Teeter Peak Ambushers. How's our three spot looking? How's our creature count looking? 15? I think we'll take the Champion here. That seems fine. Another Vanquish the Week came back? That's interesting. I'm just going to take the Kaza. <laughs> Seems fine. Actually, Skyclave Sentinel is great, and it's an easy playable here. So we have 42 cards. We have one, two, looks like three. You're gone. So we're definitely heavier black here. Don't really care about the Muck Lord, but I also don't feel like I need to cut it. Sky Dancer might actually just be better here. Like Vanquish might be better here as well. How many creatures is this? 17? It's not bad. So this is uh, 17, 18, 19, 20 lands. I think we can easily go down to 19. CTB, have a good night, buddy. I hope you fall asleep. Like I guess he's taking Mucklord out for another Vanquish. Then we have like Van then we have Vanquish, Vanquish, Blood Chief, Blood Chief, Royal Eruption. I mean Shadow Cat's meh, but we don't really we're not really in a position. Actually Let's take the Mucklord out. For the Nemana guy. Nemana guy. Let's take out the Skycap for this guy. Because this guy could just be 4-4 four, four with Menace. I think the deck is actually good. Um, these guys are fine. Null Priest is nice. Like the Blood Beckoning. And the Blood Price. Are nice. I like having the, the card advantage. Skycliff Sentinel is a nice late game card. Yeah, alright, let's try it like this. This is 16, 17, 18, 19 lands.
Yeah, this is actually fine. It's not super exciting, but it is a nice... And we have 2, 3, 5. We're gonna do this now because otherwise they can respond and pump it. So, does it cost to equip three? It's good. Yeah, I definitely like either Scion next turn or this guy into this guy to attack for four. It just seems a little bit better. That's actually just fine. I feel like that actually goes really well for us. Also, just attack for four and just play Scion of the Swarm here. Because then it gets bigger next turn. And then if we hit another red, we can go this, this, and this. Yeah, what the hell. I mean, I think we're ahead on both life and board, so. Okay. You got it. Hey, there's the red source we were looking for. Can we just win here? Yeah, okay. Vanquish actually seems like it's going to be pretty decent here. Not sure I really want to cut anything though. Maybe Blade Priest. That seems fine. This is fine. We can keep this as our black source. This guy into this guy eventually. Mm, unfortunate. Could actually play that next turn to make sure we have double black. Just hundred percent blocking here. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna hold this off consumption here. Hold on, I think I gotta let Hunter in. I, I like having Vanquish up for whatever they play here. Hold on one second. playing anything interesting and it's our turn okay well that's pretty good yep okie dokie oh that's prowling felder i actually thought this was felder retreat 
Yeah. Oh man, they could block 3-4 on 3-4 and they might not know about the death touch. They know about the death touch. Dang it. There's something in his bed, so I had to clear it out. Oh, they journey to oblivion, dark eye. They're 12? So we got Rogue and Cleric, so... And yeah, we can still vanquish one of these guys. I'm sure they're gonna kill our... Yep. <laughs> so this is three, this is seven. So close. Oh, they didn't attack because they didn't. Okay. Okay. Well, I do need three black here. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five, six, seven. We have six. I am a little reluctant about letting this get bigger. Yeah, I think we're just going to do this this turn. Keep up other Vanquish, maybe, for the other guy. We do not have Menace. They have three cards, no attacks. All right. No blocks. Okay. We did attack with this guy. This guy's vigilance. Didn't even realize it. Hope you don't draw an equipment. I guess I guess we go to two. Yeah, that's fine. That is not a dude I'm super concerned with. Hmm. Well, we're definitely attacking first here. As long as we get to one tap. Yeah, there's no world where I'm not blocking here. Zoff consumption wins us the game. Why well, concede there? Just hit OK and then you automatically, like, you don't have to do all that.
Yep, that's a good hand. Solid zero land hand. Keep six here. Get rid of a red. I'm actually going to get rid of this now because <laughs> fucking amazing oh boy because in limited this card is actually just very good yep especially if their strategy involves milling us hitting lands, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, we can play this guy and then play this guy next turn if it survives, or we can just play a 4-5 now. And I'm definitely declining because I want to be able to play this guy if we hit it, so. Yep. What are the odds they have into the Royal? One thousand percent. This is a draft, yes. Just gonna put on your Arbor Mage? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so if this guy comes down next turn, we're actually in pretty, pretty reasonable shape here, I think. <laughs> well, Zagreus is still a threat here, and now they don't have that anymore. I guess they're not going to really do anything here. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you can't imagine they're going to mill us out of the next 15 cards in the next turn or so, so... Again, Vanquish seems better than, like, Marauding Blight Priest here. Sure. Four lands, two removals. Okie dokie. I said keep. What problem is? Oh, that was a good. That was a good hit. Not only is it good for our. Now, if we have this guy, this guy, and then draw the. Uh, actually fine um you guys know what i'm talking about i actually don't care i'd rather just get a, a two three down here than have them mill us for another one so oh they're gonna they're gonna counter it 
Yeah. Oh, they're not going to counter it. They're just going to get a stupid card. That seems fine. Hmm. Oh, that's great to know about. Oh, God. I don't care about spare supplies at all. So we can pump this four, five, six, seven. Now we're just gonna play Sky Dancer at the end of their turn, or keep up Vanquish. Also, them milling us and us having uh, Blood Beckoning seems just fine. Okay, unless they never hit creatures. So this becomes a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, wow. We hit their Feldar Retreat? That's phenomenal. Yeah, I was like, I don't think you have what you need there. So this costs four. They don't have four. We can just vanquish whatever they block with. Hmm. Oh, they don't have any blue mana anymore. Okay. Oh, they milled our Null Priest? That's exciting. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. They're at six. We have three productive creatures on the board. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they played this as a land? Oh, that's great for us. Jeez. I would like to get these two back. That's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, if they want to trade here, that's fine. Mm -hmm. This becomes a 2-2. Two -two. four
keeping this rune crab seems real ambitious. We also actually could have played Null Priest there with him at two. <laughs> the greed is real as well because we actually just want to kick this. They have two cards. So this guy is real good. All of our guys have Death Touch. They no longer have Death Touch. Man, that Broken Wings is super convenient every time. But Null Priest actually... The Greed is actually being rewarded somewhat. No, they would have been dead, right? <laughs> Huh. Let's go to let's go to match three. Bing 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 bing. We could have also just played, yeah, we could have just played Hellion. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. Good call. All right. Let's see if we can 3-0 this, this sucker. I think picking up land to kill them is lol. Or I, yeah, I agree. I think that was funnier for sure. But I like using one of my rares to get back the other rare and then kill them that way. That's just satisfying too. So. Why would you kill them the lethal way and not the cool way? Your question is valid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. I mean, now we have four drop, five drop, six drop, which is pretty sweet. It's a pretty solid hand. Hunter's making some real weird noises. Go in there with this guy. Okay. I think I'm actually going to bounce a land here. Mm -hmm. Tap three, four. Okay. 
seems like a lot of things you just did there. So this guy's a five? Hmm. I mean, I'll trade with any of these guys. We have five damage in hand, so they go to eight. Tap your other five four. Yeah, again, this is a another, another matchup where I just wish I had the second vanquish. Interesting. Very aggressive. Look, this could have been a vanquish. But you playing. I guess that is that thinking hunter is pretty funny sure get your cat cards real good that's interesting good. Okie dokie. Is this milling half my deck? Sure. Alright, so they got Zagroff, they got Blood Chief's Thirst. Blood beckoning sucks. Yep, and then we draw land. It's five damage, it puts him to six. So they're Oh man, can we get a uh, Nullhide Priest? Is that what it's called? Null Priest? Nullhide Ferox? So we have 8 mana, this is not enough for both. Yeah, 
Okay, no attacks. I mean, so long as they don't have a counter spell next turn, we actually deal six. Does that kill us? I don't think so. Not from 16. So this guy deals six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we go to five. And they have one card. This is definitely a Vanquish uh, matchup. Although, ironically, this Marauding Blight Priest did actually uh, win us the game, so to speak. I also think Molten Blast can come in, since we did see uh, Maul of the Skyclaves. Probably just going to play 41 here. Yeah, we'll keep this. Do need a second black for the Blood Chief's Thirst. Reanimator, I've actually been enjoying this set both for Constructed and Limited. I think it's good. Uh, what up, Schmelman? Wow, you're literally just going to turn one mill me for eight. That's fascinating. We lost a Blood Chief's Thirst. And a royal eruption. Both of those are fine. Yep, I had a feeling you were going to play that. Kind of frustrating, but that's okay, I guess. Yep. I mean, realistically, we probably want to play both now because this card is just insanely good. <sighs> 41 with the glasses. Shanella, you're good people. Oh, five four. Get in there. <sighs> Conveniently they hit the molten blast that we have one of. I like this uh this delay here. T -t -t Today, Junior. Well, writing a paper on drug abuse in young adults. So it's a solid topic. I know it's hard to tell, but I put sunglasses on that one too. <laughs> you actually did, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. Oh, I'm glad you said something because I literally didn't even know. They have no more timeouts. So next turn we can just go. We can actually go Legac Land Ambusher, which is probably better than Hellion. 
gets a bit more stats on the board, plus it gives us access to six mana the next turn instead of five mana for a second turn. Actually, it would have given us six mana anyway on both. Okay. Wish I had a way to bounce this guy. See, look how look how quick my turn was. Okay, that's a solid game. That's a 3-0, my dudes. Fuck, finally. The streak has been broken. Thank you guys for watching. Check out ManaTraders.com if you're looking for a great subscription service for Magic Online. If you're looking for a way to get testing in on Magic Online through this pandemic, Magic Online is a great way to do it. You can get 15% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. ManaTraders.com. It's a great way to support the channel as well. I'm going to claim my prize, go to my packs, and we're going to open up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.